Tell me more about Leicestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help however I can. I think you should. Sigurd Drenger. Uh, Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, we'll stain the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. Oh. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending fires. And now we shake hands, and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok to the mercy in fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You plunged your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Chell Wolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. It sounds like you'll be a king in name only, a puppet. I am doing my part. I hope you have come to do yours. We're going to need all the help we can get for what comes next. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jail Wolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. 
So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning the Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Bugred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. This is a good plan, brother. I am ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheowulf. We all stand to benefit. And you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. I've heard all Danes are cursed with slow brains and fat tongues. Most men choose to be loud or stupid. Impressed that you manage both. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Oh, to beat such a braggart will surely be fun. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant! I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Your pride is appalling and your rhyming is worse. Got you there, young Irv. <laughs> is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of does war. does need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Can't be an heir if he's dead, Ivar. Can he wield a sword? I've had some training. I only... I don't want to kill anyone. These men are my friends. My countrymen. Relax, little king. They won't call you friend now. You can thank your father for that. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. You'll have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Chailbert? The stink of jealousy, of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of days. Say, from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Fears are with us, common folk. Burgred still has his soldiers all over mess. They're devoted to him. And they'll die defending him. Look at these 
pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. <laughs> I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. The Ragnar sons are the least of your worries, Burkrit. The Raven clan now sits upon your southern border. Oh, I've heard tales of the Raven clan. I see their leader Sigurd among you. Hey! <laughs> and you are Eivor, the one who helped the Danes in Grantabridgeshire. Destroyed poor Wigmund. Then you see why you should choose your next words very carefully. For here stand four of us who wield such power. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight!
Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one Atheling. Where was... Hmm. A chronicle of payments made. Like a ledger. There's a symbol here. A clan emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this. Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. We're wasting time. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her, find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor, but his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here, and bring your patience and your axe. Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tona's. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time, but keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. Sigurd, what brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. <laughs> the embers on the air betray you. And yet... If you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? Call me Eivor, a wolf kissed, lovely dove. We'll get your throat cut. Come now. You are too clever to run with those Ragnarsson dogs. Plenty of room on this side if you want to earn some coin. We came for your help, not your flattery. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson plots. You're dealing with me now. And I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. When Sheowulf is on the throne, do you think he'll be pleased to hear you stood in his way? That you doubted him at all? Settle for half that amount and maybe Sheowulf's first command won't be for your head on a platter. You've got stones. Out with it. Burgred paid me to steer the Ragnarsons clear of two areas. Led the Chester and Temple Brochfort. It was a hefty amount. If I were you, that's where I'd look. And that is all I know. Not more, not less. We are done here. Ledestre and Temple Brochfort. Do you know these places? I don't, but the brothers will. Ledestre and Temple Brochfort. What do you know about them? Hmm. Ledestre is a large village. Templebroch. It's an old military fort. 
Not much else. Burkhardt could be at either one. We should check both as soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Borgred now, offering silver for a warning about us. Let me worry about that. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebron. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me Leatherchester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon. Good timing. We would have stormed the place without you. What have you seen? Soldiers aplenty. Wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here, I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church, see? I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templebrach? No. And if Burgred is hiding here, I won't have to. There is a lot we would not have to do if we stuck to killing kings. Thanks to my brother, now we are into making them. No small tension between you two. Thought you'd be more like-minded. You and Sigurd, you always see eye to eye? More often than not. You are still young. You live to my age and you will see. The closer you get, the greater the stink that rises. Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkrit slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. This must be the bathhouse. Need to find a way inside. to take Tamworth back from the Danes. We're to secure our food stores first. Leofrith's orders. Leofrith's orders? Bah! The king's grown tired of him, you know. That's what all the... your mind. I feared you were one of them. Keep quiet. What are you doing here? I'm... I was looking for Burgred. You are Eva's scout. I hoped I might find Burgred myself and talk him into surrendering. But he's not in Leatherchester. How can you be sure? Leofrith passed this way with some men. I eavesdropped. It seems they're only stockpiling food here. But he did say something of interest. Gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife, the Lady Arvelsworth. She's in Templebloch. She would know where Burgred's hiding. Do you hear that? The sounds of battle. Eva! Let's get you out of here now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. Stay close to me. What? What do I do? Fight, man, fight! Lord! 
nice weapon! God damn you! Where is your king, Saxon? Where is he? Lord our father, grant me salvation. When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You're reckless, Ivar. Cheobed could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his balls? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Ivar who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned your Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. Burgred's Lady Athelsweth is in Templebroth. I'm going to find out what she knows. Never. Stone-faced and tight-lipped, all for a king who hides like a cowardly bull. Too scared to protect his family and his people. Thirsty? <laughs> My husband does what he must for Mercia. How could he do otherwise, knowing that even his closest friends could betray him? Give that traitor Cheowulf my message. He may win this earthly battle, but the devil has won the war for his soul. Cheowulf is a Mercian doing his best to find common footing in this new land. Seems to be the only true Mercian by my reckoning. I spit on him. Whatever life he makes in Mercia will be built on the graves of the nobles who gave their lives to defend it. The longer you drag this out, the truer that becomes. We've taken Repton. Tamworth, now Templebroch, and Lerichester. With each victory, your hope for peace recedes. Yet Borbred has what you do not. The loyalty of his people. Good men. Faithful men. Who? The Thanes and Cheols of Mercia? No, no. Only Leofrith remains loyal, and he too will fall. Yes, goodly Leofrith. He will die defending his king. And win or lose, he will send a hundred more of you to hell. Eivor? Your ladyship? Do not mind me. Only here to count my spoils. Oh, God! Pigs have to eat, my lady. The trouble is, it takes a lot to sate their hunger. Only a matter of time before they finish those and sniff around for fresher meat. And the smell of pig shit after this? Ooh. My... my God! Get me out of here! Please! Talk now, and we'll draw you a nice warm bath. You... You are asking me to betray my husband. How can I do that? If you don't, you will betray countless others. In legend, you may be remembered as the king and queen who abandoned their kingdom in its darkest hour. But there will be peace. This is Cheol's promise, and it will be honored. You have my word. Does the caged bird sing? Burgred is hiding in an old crypt to the south, where the Alni and Arrow Rivers join. A crypt? Now tell me this is not a sign from the gods. It's a long way to carry a king. The three of you must clear a path back to Tamworth. Where can we meet? Bring him to the bridge at Venonus. It's a straight line through. We'll deal with any trouble there. The heads were a nice touch. I'm not one for spectacle, but it got her talking. Spectacle? That's just me. I must be getting close. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 it can't. 
can't be! Stay back! That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony. Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A return with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? No, no. I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. The Zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zealots? What does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies, nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Sit down. I know I have been a cock. But you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said. That Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you Boneless? Some Backrout I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me Boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow? Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Ragnarsson. You would think, eh? Me, Afton, we will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Abba want? To grow old and fat on a farm somewhere with little Ubas to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. People change, and it may be that you change with them, or you go your separate ways. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors. All. And that is to the death. Where is my son? We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word, Lord. I suggest we carry on. You sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. 
You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision. That you are unfit to rule, and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Cherwolf. Masia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. <laughs> Forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet, I shall try. Ah, how simple it is. How easy to kneel without fear and feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown and this pagan-infested kingdom and the favors of these two-faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must... <coughs> you fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life. For it is the only thing these men will grant you. Yes. Yes. Forgive me. I, I... Do not harm me. I beg of you. Please. I'll go anywhere. Here. I, 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 I resign it. Here. Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled. Never to return. The Witten recognizes King Cherwolf of Mercia, second of his name. A just king. A merciful king. God save the king! You better be worth all this trouble. Mercian soldiers marching on Repton! Leofrid. Loyal to the ugly and the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Evo, you must save my son. You'll come through this, I promise. No, but we caught sight of Leo fleeing across the river. He was chasing someone. It has to be Chelbert. He's the only prize worth taking in this little Chelbert, he's in trouble. I won't back down, Leofrith. Please, you do not want to do this. Leofrith, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofrith. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leofrith. Even if you defeat me, the Ragnarsons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I am still standing. You're slow. Bah! You're a strong-willed thane. Burgred was lucky. To stand in the way of you and Mercia is my duty. I will die before I yield. Yeah. 
You're finished. Not yet. Fight me, heathen. <laughs> Go on then. End it. No appeal to your guard? Or your king? I swore an oath to serve Borgrid to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Burgred abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrith, I'd want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Stand, Leofrith. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burgred is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death. What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted so close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor, you have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on. Let's take you back. Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Oatlinger now. Or Aetling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. Abba and Eva lost countless men in this fight. You want to show your thanks? Hold to your end of the bargain. Of course. All of England will soon know that the Kingdom of Mercia as a new and powerful king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Chaelbert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Adeling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the River Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolfkist, as a sign of friendship. 
I should you call. The brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Abba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too. The brave little twig. That's good to hear. Now then, Leovid said there are hunters after me. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, I'll be marked for death. I should head to Venonis. Statue the zealots use. Done. Nothing but smoke and ashes now. That should get those zealots off my back. 